Alrighty class, thank you so much for joining me again, and also really appreciate everybody asking for this tutorial. This guy really appreciates it, he really feels quite loved. And so, um, yeah, this is an expansion upon the three minute video that we did, the original one where we just kind of previewed him, and this is going to be the tutorial, okay? This is going to be a little bit longer, I'm going to talk about the build, the tutorial, how to build it, and also just kind of the inspiration behind it. Um, and the story behind this guy actually is that I was I was uh, trying to make a, um, a, a slammer combiner, but trying to make like a, a more anthropomorphic like human looking robot figure right and it just couldn't do it just couldn't do it like uh, by the way i'm gonna start taking stuff apart so you can you can just kind of see um like the way the stuff is all built um I, I couldn't do it yeah and uh slammer actually truth be told is one of the more difficult bots for me to use it was like that back in the day for airway fast track and stuff it just took me time it just took me time to get to know them just like getting to know people as well you know or even getting to know your car or a tool or, or something you know it uh just took time it just took time and so oh sorry about that and this this is how the arm is made by the way um this is one of the slammer shoulders this is just the leg with the thigh bent in and then we have the hip connector on the bottom, then we have the two arms, and then we have the little treads on the side, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to make two of those. Yeah, but like I said, um, Slammer's not easy for me to build with. I think he's quite difficult. And so there were two failed attempts previous nights. So I tried for like an hour and change the first night, couldn't get anything. I tried an hour and change the second night and couldn't get anything. And on the third night, I'm trying to forget. I'm trying to remember what I was watching. I was watching something just on the back end. But um, on the third night, I was able to figure this out. And when it happened, it was almost like a aha, like a eureka moment. Meaning like, I, I don't need to make anthropomorphic or for, I, I don't need to make anthropomorphic human looking figures. I can make like whatever I want, you know. And so from there, I just was like, well, fine. Yeah, it doesn't have to look like a human. And I just started building. Um, and oh, by the way, this, so this is the leg. This is one slammer leg plug in, plugged into the shoulder. We have the other shoulder plugged into the back. And then we have another leg with the thigh compresses the foot. And then we have the forearm plugged in back here. And this is going to be the heel stabilizer. So it's going to be kind of like that. And so you're going to do that for both sides. Okay. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a, 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 like a eureka, a revelatory moment where I just kind of freed myself, like was able to think outside the box. I'm like, yeah, man. I was like, why, why do you keep trying to make like human looking bots? It's unnecessary. You can make whatever you want. And I was like, dude, you're so right. And then I went about doing that and this was the result. And that's why I'm particularly pleased with, uh, with this build. So, okay. The crux, how everything is connected are these parts, you know, the slammer back piece. That's the critically important part. Um, we have one over here, we have another one over here, and then we have another one over here as well. And basically, those pieces are being all used in conjunction to create this solid torso, which I really, really enjoy, that I will no doubt use in um, future builds, because I just like the proportions a lot. Here we have some great shoulder connectors. Here or here, you can kind of build um, the rest of the bot if you wanted to. You could even have something attached here, so there's a bit of a pivot. Um, but yeah. It's all right. Let me, let me see how, how I can best explain this because, dude, it's it's attached on so many different points. I may have to just crack the top and bottom open. Okay, like that. All right. So let's start with this half on the bottom. So this is just a slammer piece. You flip it over. You extend the neck out. Then you have the waist piece in there. Then two of the um, chainsaw bits. Then two of the um, turrets up top, right? And then, uh, yeah, and then you have one of the back pieces plugged in over here. Then you have the, and then you have the turret con con converter uh, there. Why is not, dude, I feel like it's so blurry right now. But anyway, this is the lower half of the torso, okay? To create the upper half of the torso, you're going to take two of the slammer bits. You're going to plug in one of the back pieces and get them aligned. And so you can see this is what it looks like. Then you plug in the little turret converter here as well. And then the back, this is another one of the slammer bits, and you want the wheelie, the wheels on the, facing the back. And this one, the wheels are gonna be facing the top, facing up. And so it'll only plug in very, very specific ways because there's not a lot of clearance on the treads. And so you'll know when you got it right, because like I said, there's only one way to connect them. And then in terms of how to connect this to the top part, you have that port or that peg and that port, and vice versa, you got that port and you got that peg, and you're just putting everything in there like that. It's a nice, other than that piece, this is a nice solid bit. 
the cool. So we have that in there like that. Then you just plug that into the side and then you're gonna give it like a bend. Um, same thing for the other side. You're gonna put that in, then you're gonna give it like a bend. It's partially for weight distribution, but also partially it looks cool. <laughs> and then you just plug that in there. You just plug that in there. And then you just plug that in there. And you're good to go, baby. That's it. That's it. And where's the little pilot? Oh, yeah. If you want to put the little pilot. <laughs> All right. <laughs>